It has been a challenging season so far. The late ice out seemed to really change things up. And it's not so much that the musky bite is bad, I would say. It's not, you know, the fish are eating. It's just that it, their location, uh, you know, where they're, where they're spending their time is, is probably a little different this year than in, in some other seasons. And these lakes that I'm doing well on, you know, if, if you've been following me uh, on my YouTube channel here throughout my my uh, my season, you know, 2018 documentary here, these lakes that I'm catching muskies on were were the best and, and most uh, peaked lakes as far as weed growth, and they were good early, and they never really lost their momentum. Right now, I tell you this: we've got a major period. Uh, coming up here in the next hour, and I'm going to put myself on one of my best lakes. I'm not going to reinvent anything. I'm just going to throw a 500 series booger tail tinsel or a baby shallow raider and go beat it up. The shallow weed bite on this particular body of water had been great all season long, so I decided to start my afternoon with an aggressive run and gun approach by throwing the downsized 500 booger tail tinsel. But after working through a couple of my prime spots with no action, it was time to switch it up and go with a shell raider that I could work very erratically with lots of pauses and added hang time to help trigger a reaction strike. The stripe model design was the perfect match for the thick, shallow weed cover because it provided the extra buoyancy I needed to get through snag free. That was awesome. How about the jump? That was sweet. Oh my gosh. That was awesome. Did you see that jump? Oh my gosh. Touchdown. Whew. There we go. All right, there she comes. Man, beautiful fish, guys. Just goes to show you. When you know you're on the muskies, but they're not biting, Switch it up to something a little more erratic. In this case, the seven inch shallow raider. And didn't take too long for this fish to smash it. Alright guys, so musky one is in the net. Just absolutely pumped. Couldn't be more happy with that first fish. So, like I kind of said in the open here for the for the uh, show here today, this musky I just caught was all about tweaking the presentation. Knew those fish were there, but they were not hitting the 500. So I switched it up to a jerk bait. Seven inch shallow raider got the job done. There's going to be a lot more of that this afternoon. Time to hit it hard. Additionally, that fish was within an hour of the major period, so always like to uh, think that is you know part of the equation in some way. But uh, conditions seem positive. We got some partly cloudy uh, cloud, cloud cover here, and uh, I'm gonna go back to that spot I caught that fish and see if I can catch another one. Maybe we got a wolf pack in there. Who knows? My favorite retrieve for working the straight model shallow raider is a hybrid style. Starting first with a slack line twitch and pause routine, 
but then quickly leading into a traditional retreat for a chance at getting a muskie to follow into the figure eight. This muskie follows in deep and actually stopped following right as she neared the boat, so I instinctively made an extra wide turn on my figure eight and then brought the lure back toward her. strikes the year. One of the sweetest strikes of the year, guys. No doubt about it. I can get this fish. We got a touchdown. We got a touchdown. I knew it. This bait was going to catch fish this afternoon. Was that strike amazing or what? I knew this bait was going to catch him. Yes. Oh, baby, was that awesome or what? Oh, my gosh. That was sweet. Holy cow. Was that awesome? All right, I just got to get her. There she goes. She's out. Excellent. Talk about a sweet strike. Oh, my God. Yeah! Woo! Guys, that'll be one of the best boat side strikes of 2018. I guarantee it. Saw her coming in, took a big wide sweep, and she just pounded it. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. Again, that's my line, by the way. But you know what? When you're out here musky fishing, does it really get any better? I mean, I don't know. That's a nice fish. Cruiser, man. On a crankbait, a gorgeous fish, nice and healthy. Guys, when the bite is tough and you know you're on the fish but they're just not striking, change to a jerk bait that you can pause and uh, you won't be disappointed. This is a beautiful fish and of course, part of the term crankbait is actually cranking it in and getting that fish to come up into the figure eight like this one. Wow. All right, guys, well, the wind is picking up here, and the musky bite is picking up this afternoon. And I really think I got them dialed in right now. This 7-inch straight model shallow rater, that's the blueback shad pattern, is just hammering them. I think your guys, you guys are going to see probably one of the best, uh, if not the best, boat side strike of all time on a crankbait, too, which you might not think would be uh, wild in the figure eight. It was. And i got to tell you how I'm catching these fish right now. It's pretty simple, uh, but first I'll talk about the equipment because that's very important. Uh, this is the uh, new Downsizer series by St. Croix. It's their Legend Tournament. It's 710 medium power fast action. Just an awesome finesse rod with little jerk baits. And uh, actually, I, I had to change reels. My 300 size reel busted on me after that last fish I caught. I don't know why. So I put the 400 on here, and now I'm actually outfitted with 80 pound test, which is fine because it gives me a little more buoyancy in the shallow weed cover that I'm fishing, which I'm totally cool with. Uh, and I, I'm actually using, these are going to be out in 2019. Uh, Joe Booker Outdoors has come out with this new flexible seven strand leader with this uh, nice coating on it that really protects it and keeps it in good shape. And I really actually am starting to like that for working jerk baits because it's so flexible, it lets that bait move wherever you want. Anyway, this is the tactic and this is the strategy behind the whole jerk bait thing. I know where the muskies are at. They're just not committing to your 
classic run and gun stuff. So what do you do? Well, bust out a jerk pick. Give them something that pauses, that you can pause and twitch and trigger reaction strikes. And a couple things I'm doing with this jerk bait here. To start the cast off, you'll see my wrist action. I'm twitching it almost in position and then letting it uh, just hang there and pause it. Okay, I call it the slack line twitch. After I pause it for a second or two, I just crank it in. It's that simple. It's called a crankbait, so crank it. And, the, and this fish really highlights the beauty of that technique because you don't catch them on the pause. On the slack line twitch pause, you're going to get that fish to come into the figure eight and you've got a chance to blast them at both sides. Another touchdown, man. We are just in the zone with the shallow rigger thing right now. Oh man, another one, guys. When you dial it in, there's no telling how many you might catch. Wow, beautiful fish. Look at her back real quick. Oh, that was quick. Well guys, it's time for dinner, uh, about 8.30 here, and tonight the special is turkey sandwich with provolone cheese and a little guacamole, actually. Found some in the refrigerator that was looking good. So, so far my game plan has worked. I talked about this before I launched. I said, look, I'm going to I'm gonna put my boat in on a lake that's been providing for me this season among so many that aren't and I'm just gonna stay there. And I wasn't seeing fish on the bucktail, little 500 series booker tail tinsel. So I switched to the shallow Raider, seven inch straight model, and uh, caught that first fish. I was feeling the mojo, the reel broke, and I'm like, okay, I gotta get this rod going. That little downsizer 710 medium by St. Croix, the legend tournament. And so I rigged it up again, and then pow, got two more, including a big one in the figure eight. So, uh, I'm gonna have a little dinner here and keep at it. Sun's going down. It's cooling off. Uh, interesting. All three of those fish hit before the wind switched. We had a west southwest. Now we had a northwest. So very interesting. I see this quite a bit where your your uh, your musky strikes and activity all come right before a major wind change or a major light change. And you can see that's what we've got right now. Uh, when those muskies were hitting, we definitely had some overcast. They had some like stormy looking clouds coming in. And now that is not the case at all. We've got blue skies and a northwest wind, so all that activity happened right before all that changed. I'm gonna keep at it tonight. Uh, you know, we got sunset here. Let's see if we can't get another one. The sun is just creeping behind those trees right now. So quick dinner, and we're gonna keep at it. With already three muskies in the net leading into the major period, I was absolutely pumped to see what kind of action sunset might bring. But surprisingly, I saw a little movement from the muskies on this gorgeous evening. But I just couldn't stop casting as I continued to replay all of the musky catching excitement in my head. So I decided to hit one of my prime spots at first dark with a deadly night fishing lure, the 700 series Booger Tail in Elvis color. And as you're about to see, it's always a good idea to do an extra figure eight when you can't see the follows at night. Awesome. Oh, 
look at the lady next to me, guys. So I did get her. I think she clobbered Elvis. And we got a touchdown. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you guys can see this or not. I saw this fish surface go after something with a huge splash. And I cast it out after, didn't, didn't see her or anything. And I was just finishing my figure eight here and I saw a boil, took another cast and she just hammered it. I figured eight, figure eight it a number of times and she finally came back and just, I think, demolished it. I gotta get, grab the JBOs. Uh, I think this is a good fish, guys. Wow. Alright guys, here's a quick look at her. Whoa baby, here's a quick look at her. Beautiful night muskie. Man, just a gorgeous fish. We're gonna get her back guys. Nothing like that to end the evening. Chaz Martin's Musky Mastery Outdoors is brought to you by Joe Booker Outdoors, number one in big game fish products. And by St. Croix Rods, best rods on earth. Fish more, worry less.